Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Nerd Services. Today I want to do a tutorial on an open source project management software called Redmine. This one I actually use in this business. It is how I keep track of tasks, how I keep track of projects, and ways of uh, being able to assign things to different employees and being able to uh, monitor what their progress is. So there's a lot of different things that this particular software does. Many of them are customizable, so although it starts out as a basic template, as bug or feature tracking, you can definitely mold it to more than one thing. This is the homepage of a demo Redmind web application that I just spun up. And I just want to show some of the features that are part of this web application. So there's a sign in, so I'm just going to sign in And it looks basically the same, except now the projects that are in the latest projects right here are also accessible at the top left. So I can click on projects. Here we see a sample project one and a sub project. The stars indicate that these are projects that I'm part of. So if I was administrating or monitoring other projects, I may not be physically part of them, but as an administrator, I'd be able to see what is going on in those projects. There's also the ability to view all issues, the overall time spent, so there is a way of tracking time, as well as the overall activity. Any changes that happen here in Redmine will be recorded. Option to view closed projects, anything that is complete and closed will be visible until it is archived, and then archived, only administrators have the ability to unarchive them. So I'm going to go into project one. Project one will then tell me how many of different tasks there are. The default ones are bug, feature, and support. However, you can see I've also created task and meeting, and those are custom ones that you can then issue with different tasks. There are also a calendar and a Gaunt chart associated with each project. So I can just look at a list of all the issues by clicking on the issues tab. So there's just these two. The only real downside I find with Redmine is the fact that it doesn't do times, it only do, does dates. But at the same time, this is just a workaround I do where I'll put the time in the title of the issue. And then from there, there is also the option to create a new issue. We'll get there temporarily. And then there's the Gaunt chart, so I can see what my roadmap is time-wise and I can see the beginning and end of projects as well as the duration of the projects on this particular view. And then finally, in the overview, I mentioned that there was the ability to also see a calendar. So the calendar here or the calendar here allows me to see when the task starts, when they're supposed to be completed. If there is a single day issue, then those are all visible here. Many of those these things, like the issues, are exportable as CSV or PDF, so you can use them to run reports. And I do want to go into some of these issues to see what they can do. So if I go into an issue, I'm currently set up as a custom role. This role doesn't have a lot of permissions. So when I go into this particular issue, these issues, this one is uh, the type meeting. This is one of the customs that I created. I can go ahead and edit it. This one is currently assigned to me. This is why I can see it. If I go ahead and edit, then I can do things like change the status. So I go edit. I have the options to do spent time, and then I can give any notes, and then I can hit submit. There's also for the activity, I can actually choose any of the predetermined ones, which is design and development, and then consultation and meetings are the ones that uh, are customized that I put in myself. And then there is spend time and if I want to put comments. So if I said I want to put one hour, and in this one hour I was doing a consultation, and I spelt custom wrong, oops, then I can say that this was uh, consultation with a new client. We'll keep things pretty simple. From there, I will go ahead, I don't need to put any additional notes, and I'll go ahead and hit submit. So now we see that this one hour has elapsed, 
And uh, that's basically the only change that I've made. If I click on this one hour, I can see also the activity that I did, any comments that I did, and it will track this for me in the total time. And then there's a reporting feature as well. Now I did make an error with this rule. The error is that I have failed to give this particular account the ability to do things like change the status or the percent done. So that is why it is very limited to what things I can actually edit. So with that, I am going to log out and log back in as an administrator and see what other things I can do with this particular account. So I've made changes to the settings of this particular account, and now I can show you that when I go into a particular issue, if I wanted to update and make changes, once again, I can click on the edit. And in the edit, now here I can choose to change new to in progress, and I can even give it a percentage as well as logging my time. The target version, it does depend if you do choose to use different versions for the project. If you don't set any versions, this field does not exist. But this just gives you an idea that if this was a project that did have a dev component, a UAT component, and a production component, you could change which issues are for which stage of the implementation of this project. So it is one of those optional things that once again, you can choose to customize in here or not. Other things to note is that the notes are something that will be visible in activity and anyone who sees this issue, they will be able to see the information in this note as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add a note. And when I hit submit, it has now changed the status to in progress. There is a percent done. The spent time, I didn't make any changes, so it's still spent time right here. And then in the history, this is where I put the note and any changes that have been made. Once again, all these changes are visible in the activity. So if I go ahead and click activity in the menu, I will then be able to see, well, today there was uh, these changes and yesterday is when this particular project was made. So today there is the documents that was created, uh, there were some changes that were made, and then there were some activities that were done uh, today. So other tabs to note is that there is the roadmap. This is, once again, if you do choose to use different versions, it will separate which tasks are for which version and how close they are to completion. There isn't a real example that I want to show for this, except to say that it does exist. And it's something that if you are using and completing projects with multiple phases, this could be a good way to manage them. Other things is there is a news component. If someone is placing news, they can be able to see that all here, as well as a location to add documentation. So these documents, in addition to being able to add text to Redmine, you are also able to add attachments. So if I go into this particular document, then there is a document that is attached and I can go ahead and download it. This is different from the wiki where the wiki, you would be able to have different pages in the wiki and there wouldn't really be attachments here. This would be more like if you had your health and safety information or other information pertinent to the project itself, then that can all go in this wiki section where the documents are associated additional files for that particular project. Then there is the form section. The form section is just like any other form where users can post topics like this one is done by the admin and then other users can go in, see the text of that particular topic and go ahead and reply. So I can go ahead, click this reply and then from here, I can type a response. You'll notice that I have all the rich text editing options available above the field. I can upload files and then I can submit. Furthermore, I can choose to create my own topics in the forms by clicking on the new message. And I also have the option to watch the entire form so that if there is any new topics being posted or any replies, I can get an email notification from that. The final section is the files. This section is if you have Redmine linked to a repository for things like software development or issue tracking, then this can pull from that particular repository so it's visible here. However, it isn't set up, so there isn't anything to show from here. Final things to note is that 
there is email notifications. You can also view emails from this location. You can create issues from emails. All those things that I can't really show in this environment, but it is ways that Redmine can link to your email system so that they can work together in tandem. Other things is that Redmine does have LDAP support, so you can use something like single sign-on to be able to sign in once and then be able to sign in from other locations, as well as that if you already have an LDAP server, it can pull users from that server for this particular system. And with that, that's the general overview of Redmine. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below if you have questions or comments. Until next time, thanks so much for watching.